right, so here we are at this stage. I have the new mount with set screws that lock it in place. Uh, the bracket mounts to that. And then it's been tapped for my ball nut. Uh, these are uh, these are Nook uh, ball nuts and ball screws. So they're, they're only rolled ball screws, so there's a little bit of backlash in it, but uh, I think I can work with that. Uh, on the back end here is the plate that I'm going to bore through here to mount this stepper motor on the back side to drive that axis. I'm going to make a little one and a half inch wide block that grabs a hold of the ways and is bolted to this plate. I'm also going to utilize the two bolts that are in the back of the cross slide uh, where traditionally you mount the uh, taper attachment. I'm going to use those two bolts. And then this is the bracket that is going to drive the z-axis from the back using that one inch diameter ball screw. And this is going to mount on the edge of this plate down here. So this will be down below the height of the bed. I still have to work out all of the details, but that's the the basics of what this next step is. Uh, sorry that I haven't done a lot of videos of the machining. It's just kind of a pain in the ass, so I am just doing pictures along the way with interim videos explaining what the next step is. the uh, x-axis cross slide the screw the bracket the the mount for the tool post that's all done I still need to come up with the coupler uh, for the the lead screw and some sort of a block in here I'm still uh, debating whether that's necessary or not I initially thought that some sort of a block that would lock on to the ways would help align things but the two bolts that are in here have everything pretty tight, so I don't know if that's necessary yet. We have this bracket down here, as you can see. This has got our one inch screw for the, uh, for the Z axis. The next step is gonna be this bracket for the uh, NEMA 34 motor that's gonna run the Z axis. Keeping it really simple, this bar is going to be sandwiched onto the, the ways, just like the tailstock and the steady rest are. I'm going to cut a section of this off and put it up underneath and run a bolt through it. That's going to sandwich down. I've got some, have, it's three quarter by four inch aluminum. I'm going to cut a chunk of that and mount to the face of this steel bar and machine it to take that. And then we'll couple the shaft up to that motor and that will sit right down there like that. The motor mounts done. I've got the uh, the ball screws in place. I guess the last piece that I've got to build are the couplers that are going to couple the ball screw to the motor. And I've got two pieces of uh, stainless steel that I'm going to build those couplers out of. You can see everything lined up down there. And I've got the bracket back here that the motor is mounted to. And that is bolted to the cross piece here, which sandwiches on the rails. You notice the plastic uh, shims in here. Miscalculation by an eighth inch. Not sure how that happened, but an easy fix. Uh, so all of this stuff is now mounted correctly. 
And I also had a slight miscalculation with this piece where I had to take 25 thou off the bottom here. You can see that rests against the round piece, the riser. So yeah, it's uh, it's almost there. I'll build these couplers and then get this ball screw cut to length. And then we've got dust covers and stuff like that to put in place yet, but I think it's coming along pretty good. Here is the screw cover in place. I've left this end, uh, I could zip tie this on there like I did on the other end, but I left this end off. Uh, it seems to stay in place with tension and then I can open it up if I need to disconnect that or grab a hold of this and turn it manually. So by leaving the cover off I can get to that. You can see at this end I have the uh, zip tie right there holding it on so that, that is held in place and it's covered on the back side just loose again and I used the the large cover back here but I didn't buy a piece long enough to cover the whole thing so I used uh, this the same smaller cover that I used up on the x-axis I used back here uh, the x-axis they're just kind of tucked up in the hole here I don't have it tied on that end but it is zip tied on this end to the the ball nut so it's a good solid cover this is a piece of uh, rubber from a treadmill uh, tread belt and I this screw goes into the uh, original hole and then these two screws go into that block that I put across there so this provides a way cover to keep the dust and stuff out left it hanging off the edge just a little bit. So overall it is uh, it's put together. I've used it for a while. I still need to install the safety switches. I have no homing or uh, uh, any <laughs> any limit switches so I really got to pay attention when I'm running it. But uh, but yeah it's it's a functional machine at this point. So cool. I will uh, Leave this for the next video.